Hey guys, this is Technoli. I got another one of these little minis right here. What do you think of this? This is an HP G800. Now it's not as small as the Lenovo, but it's good size. You can put two SATA hard drives in here, which is kind of nice. Then you can do a dual boot with, you know, Windows on one hard drive and Mac OS on the other. Now let me show you the inside. Right here. Okay, so you got your RAM slots right there. This will support up to 32 gigs. And then right, if I just push this out, right there is my SATA SSD. And then you've got this plug right here where you could put another drive and just pull out the CD-ROM, right? Just pull this out and put another drive in there. So all in all, nice little unit. Now let me show you in comparison to the Lenovo. This has been a very popular video lately. I think because YouTube is really promoting my channel, which is very cool. But you see, it's a little bigger than the little tiny, you know, quite a bit bigger, really. Look at it, guys. But this is just another option. Powerful little unit, i5 processor, also a 4570. And I've got eight gigabytes in here. So uh, let's get into the specs on this one. Let's get into the benchmarks. And I'm gonna show you the bio settings on this one so you can do it real easy. And this is open core as well. All right, guys, here we go. Okay, guys, so on these HPs, you press the F10 key to get into the BIOS. And on this one, go up to default setup, save current settings as default. No, we want to restore factory settings. All right. Now we can go back, go over to storage, and right here, there's nothing we need to change. Go over to security, secure boot, that's all fine. All of that's fine, enabled. There's nothing in there to change. Nothing there, nothing there. Right here, disable, system security, just like you see there, so data, prevention, enable, and VTX is enabled, but do not turn on VTD. That's not supported. And then OS management is fine to be enabled. There's nothing here. Secure boot configuration, just like this. Legacy support enabled. Secure boot is disabled. That's our main thing. And also fast boot is disabled. Go over here, nothing. Go over here to advanced. And on here, everything is fine the way it is. By default, right there, turbo mode is fine to be on. If they have an internal speaker, that's fine. Enable and enable for multiprocessor. Nothing, nothing. Okay, so go back over to file and save changes and exit. Now let's make sure we have our USB bootloader in the computer and press enter. Now boot menu on these is F9 to get to the boot menu. Okay, and I want to choose my SAN disk and hit enter. It'll go through a lot of text. You know, this uh, open core 0.5.6 has this text before you even get to this menu. But uh, go ahead and select our external and this is going to go through a lot of text and it will finally come up to where we format our hard drive. So we'll come back as soon as it gets up there. Now it'll get stuck on a couple lines, but it finally does get through it. It's not too bad at all. It's pretty fast. And we come up here, we're going to be able to format our hard drive. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and choose our disk utility and click continue. 
we want to go over here to this down arrow and show all devices. And this is my hard drive. So I'm going to click erase and call it whatever you'd like. I'm going to call it cat G 800. We'll change our format method to APFS and G U I D partition map and click erase. Okay, not too bad. Click done. And now we're going to go over to reinstall Mac OS. Continue. Make sure you have your uh, Ethernet cable connected or you will get an error saying that it can't find the internet. And then agree and agree. Select our hard drive and install. And this takes about 20 minutes. It says right there about 23 minutes remaining. So uh, when this gets up to about here, we'll come back and see how we're doing. Okay guys, so it says about 11 minutes remaining. So uh, we'll hang in there and see how she goes. And there it goes guys. All right. So just leave your uh, USB stick in there and we're going to have to come back and we're going to boot from the hard drive itself. So we'll get through all this menu and all of this first text and then we'll come up to the boot. All right. So now it's always on the first boot, it comes up as Mac OS installer. So that's the hard drive. So we just want to hit enter on that and keep moving along. Okay. So we're going to come up here and we're going to have the Apple logo. Now it's continuing the installation process. This will come up and give you an estimated amount of time left. And it will pretty much go completely across and uh, then it will reboot on its own. So uh, we'll come back as soon as it gets close to the end. Okay guys, so we got about uh, six minutes left on this. So we're almost to the end and uh, she's going to reboot again on her own. So we'll leave our USB stick in there, okay? Alright, let's hold on for a minute. And there it goes. Okay, so we got our thumb drive in there. Just wait for it to reboot. Go back up to the menu and we're going to boot from the hard drive one more time. Okay, so there's my Cat G800. So we'll hit enter on that. Okay, so we'll come up here to where we can finally get busy finishing the install. Okay, let's pick our country. Where do the United States go? Okay, next, next. Don't want to transfer. I'm not going to sign in with my Apple ID at this point. Now I'm going to do a separate video guys on how to set up your serial numbers because so many people ask me that that question, you know, how do they get their iMessage and all that to work. Go ahead and name your Mac and put in a password and continue. Enable location services, no analytics, continue, set up later, yes to Siri, not now, 
And finally, dark mode. Okay, let's tell it what kind of keyboard we have. And we are done. Okay, so there we go. We've got a transparent bar down here, so we're good on our graphics, but let's just check a couple of things. Okay, so, yeah, we've got Intel HD graphics 4600. We're showing the right amount of uh, RAM for that driver. And eight gigabytes of RAM, it's a 2.9 gigahertz processor, so we're good to go. Now, I'm going to just real quick install um, Clover Configurator over here to the desktop. And I want to use Clover just for one thing. I just want to mount the hard drive, right click and open. And then open. So we can transfer the EFI folder from the USB stick onto the hard drive so we don't have to use the USB stick ever again to boot up our Mac. So mount, put in your password, open partition, and just double click on our thumb drive and just drag and drop that right into the EFI partition on the hard drive. And that's it guys, we are done with all of that. Okay, so now when I restart, I can just pull out that thumb drive. And we will be able to come back and boot with just the hard drive. Okay, so here we go. And there we go, guys. We are done. So there you go. A little HP G800, not a micro, but I would say in between a small form factor and a micro. Nice little computer and uh, works great, works great. I would say it's about like a, you know, a MacBook Air 2012, something like that. It's about the same speed as that. So it'll do all your basic tasks, no problems at all, and you'll have fun with it. All right, let me know if you like this video. Please comment, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.